Okay, so today's flip video is going to be on dividing with decimals. First, we're just going to jump right away into a problem just to kind of see what we're working with. Okay, so our dividend is going to be a made up number 842. Then I'm just going to roll one of our decimal dice that we made to find out what we're going to have for a divisor. We have 0 0.9, so go ahead and put that as your divisor. Now the first rule of dividing with decimals is that you can never have a decimal in your divisor. So what can you do to get rid of it? Well, you could easily multiply by 10 in order to move your decimal one place over to the other side of the 9. However, what, whatever you do to the divisor, you also have to do the dividend. So in 842, the decimal sits right behind the two. So you have to move it one place extra, just like we did for our 0 0.9 to get rid of the decimal. And then we end up with nine as our divisor and 8,420 as our dividend. And then we can divide just like a normal long division problem. When you're working with dividing with decimals, it's really important to remember that when you have your dividend, you have to make sure your decimal follows straight up into your answer. You wanna make sure you're following a straight line with that. Even if there is no um, first number in the ones place, you have to make sure your decimal is straight up and you put a zero before it. Okay, so what do you do and if you happen to have a decimal for your dividend and your divisor, let's erase and start over with another example. Let's roll our blue dice to find our dividend. I got 0 0.37. And I'll roll our red die to find our divisor. I got 0 0.03. So in this example, we're going to have to move our decimal two places in order to get rid of the decimal in the divisor. So move to the other side of the zero would be one, and then behind the one's place is a two, place, two movements. So we have to do the same thing in our dividend. So we're going to move our decimal behind our three for one place, and then behind our seven for two. And right away, I'm going to have my decimal follow up to be right behind that seven directly in line. So we, now we can treat it like an original division problem. So we have, if we rewrite it, it's 37 divided by three. Three goes in three one time. You have zero, carry down that seven. Three goes into seven two times with six with a remainder of one. And that would be the exact same if we were to multiply 0 0.37 by 12 remainder 1, we would end up with 0 0.03 for our decimal. I have sent out your dividing decimals worksheet that I really want you to bring to class tomorrow. Bring with you your worksheet, both of your decimal cubes, and any questions you have from this video. See you guys tomorrow.